question we must face. Do we have desire, but lack opportunity? Or do we have opportunity, but lack desire? It's like we fight hard for things we're told we can't have. Or when someone tells us that we can't do this or that. Think about it. Do you remember when we were told things like, you can't be free, you're a slave. You're only three-fifths of a man, you can't vote. You can't learn to read or write. You could never be a doctor, lawyer, scientist, teacher, or so on. You can't join the military. You can't fly an airplane. You can't have a leading role on Broadway. You can't sing opera in DC. You can't have your own TV show or black-owned businesses. And you could never have black colleges, because if you did, they would be inferior. Yes, you can't sleep here or eat there, go in the back door, sit in the back of the bus, all Negroes to the balcony. You can't live in this neighborhood or go to this school with the white children. Do you remember that you were the first, the last hired, so the first fired, only after you trained somebody to be promoted over you? You can't play in our league, it's for whites only. You can't be the quarterback, you're not smart enough. You can't run the company, you have a glass ceiling. You don't understand investment banking, you're not all American or WASP. Are you kidding me? President? Why do you think they call it the White House? <laughs> we as colored people, Negroes, blacks, African Americans, have always had a desire to achieve especially when we're shut out or denied. The question now is, what more do we have to prove? Has our kindred spirits evolved to the point where we are satisfied and content with living our lives vicariously through the accomplishments of others? That's dangerous, because if we're not careful, we will stop evolving and just merely exist, just be surviving just vagabonds in a land full of opportunity. Maybe we're tired of having to prove ourselves. Why should we have to prove ourselves? And to whom? I submit the answer is simple. We must prove it over and over and over again to the ones who matter most, our families, to our grandparents and our parents who have paved the way through blood, sweat, and many tears, to our children, who are a reflection of us and God. Our children must be encouraged, challenged, celebrated, disciplined, positive, productive, and secure in who they are. We have to prove ourselves for ourselves because we are the reason that men like Dr. King fought so hard and believed so completely. We are the testimonies of what faith is all about, the evidence of things hoped for and the proof thereof. We shall overcome, we have overcome, and we must resolve to continue to overcome. King planted seeds that are now bearing fruit. We are the fruit he believed in before we were even conceived. Let us not be sour, spoiled, or rotten fruit. The fruit of idleness, the fruit of apathy, the fruit of complacency. <clears throat> Let us have that same desire, dedication, hope, and faith right. that Dr. King had and take full advantage of every opportunity we have today and plant some seeds along the way. Yeah.